What is happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. TGI fucking F. God, this has been a hellish week, guys. And some of you might know that I've had a hellish week. If you've uh, been watching the, the, the new segment I have on my second channel, please subscribe down below. First link. Um... Yeah, it's just uh, it's been a, it's been a pretty rough week, guys. So if you want to check those videos out, my uh, film junkie after video show, check it out. It's uh, it's a new segment I'm doing that's actually very therapeutic, and I'm actually digging it. It's raw, it's raw, guys. So check it out. Anyways, it's not here what I'm talking about. I'm not I'm plugging away on my second channel, even though I should, right? Anyways, we uh, got some more Batman vs Superman story details that have just came about, coming from ComicBook.com that uh, has an interesting little plot twist. So if you don't want to hear it, this is a potential spoiler. You, uh, you could turn it off now and uh, not hear this information. And if you do, well, that means you're just so fucking excited for this movie like I am. That is correct. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? And I actually kind of like it. And I'm not going to lie. It's not, not, I don't mind this. I am actually could be for this. Is General Zod going to return in Batman vs. Superman as Doomsday. What? Yeah, okay. Now, according to comicbook.com, they say they've heard some things, and they said his corpse is stolen, or perhaps just acquired, given his military contacts in most versions, uh, in most versions of the modern uh, mythology, by Lex Luthor and experiment on. Presumably, presumably in the hopes of finding a weakness to exploit against Superman. In the course of experimenting, we've been told that it triggers the Doomsday Genome. Am I saying that right? I don't know how to read. Just right now, my brain's gone. Causing the corpse to reanimate as the mindless killing machine at the center of the death of Superman. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, if they're going to change the source, source material a little bit, they can. They're already doing that. You got to tweak. You got to make tweaks. And it actually would make sense, you know? I, I'm not against this. Because he had General Zod, he's dead. A lot of people were complaining like Superman killed him, and I was like, who cares? He had to kill him. So Lex Luthor steals him and does experiments, and something mutates, and he turns into Doomsday. Nothing wrong with that. I actually do not mind this at all. So let me know what you think about that down below in the balls area. Um, let me know what, what your thoughts about that is. And there's also been... And I, in movie blogs, you, 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 you're silly, you know, when you post, it just seems like whatever an actor says, they, people just get crazy about it. I mean, I can understand if they're talking about certain details about a movie, sure. But this is just Jesse Eisenberg saying that, well, first off, they asked him if he shaved his head for Batman vs. Superman, and he said, I can't say anything about this stuff. They, uh, they want all this to be su a surprise. He shaved his head, guys. We already know this. We saw pictures of him where he looked like an egghead with a hat on, not to mention the first Now You See Me 2 picture. He had a buzz cut, so obviously he did shave his head. Put two and two together. You don't need confirmation when we could just put it all together. Then he also said he, uh, he'll play Lex Luthor again. Um, he, he said he wants to. I would love to, he says. It's a great group, of, group and director and the most ideal character to play. Of course he's gonna play Lex Luthor. Oh God! Uh, why? When when these actors sign up for these roles now that are in these cinematic universes, they're signing for multiple movies. It's not just one movie. He's. <laughs> I just don't understand it. It's like why is that even a shock? And of course he would love to play him again. That's why he signed on for multiple movies. So let me know what you think about that all down below in the balls there. Also hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel as well, my second channel. And uh, visit filmjunkie.com for your latest movie news. Well, all right, guys. Talk to you later.